Hello race fans and welcome to the Racing Auto Parts 200 at the California Road Course. Some stories for today's race. Richie Gunzit and Herb Kerbler, two drivers that had horrible races last weekend in Cartonsville, start on the front row. Last week's winner, Cam Spinner, will start 14th alongside Jonas Carvers, making his first start in today's race. And H.J. Hollis is perfectly fine after his horrendous crash in Cartonsville last week. So, he will be racing today. Starting lineup, as mentioned before, Richie Gunsett and Herb Kerbler on the front row. Ed Trunken, Eric Breaker, Paul Conrev, Chris Roman, Chase Raceslot, Chase Bentrod, Conrad Camber, and Harvey Rodcap are the top 10. H.J. Hollis, Noah Gocek, Jonas Carvers, Cam Spinner, Barry DePetal, Steve LePage, Sheldon Shifter, Michael Roeder, Spikey Phillips, and Tim Treadless are the top 20. And 21st through 26th are made up of Carson Highline, Danny Suarez, Bubba Wheelhouse, Flip Dover, Ryan Laney, and J.D. McPillar will be starting last today. We are about ready to take the green flag, come into the green this time by. Lap 1 out of 12, here comes the green flag, we are underway in the California road course. Richie Gunzit, the road course master, out to an immediate lead over Herb Kerbler, who gets overtaken by Ed Trunken as they exit turn two. Through the S's coming to the end of lap one already, it's a very short row course. Richie Gunsett takes the first lap. He will get a bonus point today. Ed Trunken and Paul Conrev trying to keep up, and around goes Spike! Eric Breaker off of the bumper of Chase Racelot. He will keep going, and no caution. Lap 3 of 12. Oh, Trunken tried to bump Gunzit out of the way, but miserably failed. And now Paul Conrev will take over the second spot from Trunken. Lap 4 of 12 now. Gunzit leads that one. And three wide back in the pack. And around goes Barry DePetal off of the bumper of Herb Kerbler. And upside down goes the 64 off of the tire barriers. My goodness, what a wreck. Yeah, three wide at this course doesn't work. Here's the instant replay. Looks like, oh, Ch oh yeah, Chase Racelot gets into Herb Kerbler, turns to pedal across the grass, and they hit those tire barriers and just get launched up on, or to pedal gets launched up on his side. And I thought he was gonna stay on his wheels, but Kerbler slammed into him and flipped him over. Coming back to the green flag, lap six of twelve. Already almost halfway through this race. Guns it again, proving why he got the pole for today's race. Immediately gets out to a lead over Paul Conrev. Ed Trunken now takes back the second position, trying to keep pace with Guns it. Guns it through the S's, now down into turn number two. He has already locked up the most laps led. He's already led half this race, so that's a... I'd say that's a pretty good race. But Trunken doesn't want to let him lead him all, and around goes Gunsit into the tire barriers, collects Paul Conrev. Jonas Carvers and Chase Racelot also involved, and the dominant car has just been taken out. Wow. Richie Gunsit out of this race. Yeah, eh, I don't think that's really Trunken's fault. Gunsit just cut him off, and he tried to save it, but the moment you touch those tire barriers, you get flung across the track. And Paul Conrev tries to avoid him, but he just doesn't. And Jonas Carvers gets turned trying to avoid the wreck. And both of these guys are going to be out of this race. Guns it and Conrev out of it. Race lot and Carvers are still in it. Coming back to the green flag, lap 10 of 12. Ed Trunken leads him back to the green flag. Trunken getting a lead out over... Chase the loop, but H.J. Hollis comes through to take second. What a way it would be for him to win. Or what a what a fan favorite win it would be after his nasty crash last week. Hollis trying to keep pace with Trunken right now. Two laps to go right now. Coming through the last set of corners. Oh, Trunken gets loose. Hollis to the inside takes the lead. White flag. Oh, Trunken gonna bump him. Around goes Hollis. And... Uh, Conrad Camber up over Trunken's hood and a massive crash. Bubba Wheelhouse is going to go upside down. But now Chase Racelot or Chase Bentrod coming through the final corner. Chase Bentrod will win his first career race 
at the California Road Course. Man, what a way to end it and a massive accident behind him. Chase Bentrod will celebrate his first career win. And let's take a look at the finishing order. Chase Bentrod finishes first. Harvey Rodcap comes out of nowhere to finish second. Noah Gocek third. H.J. Hollis ends up finishing fourth after he was leading on the final lap. Jonas Carvers finishes seventh. Good for his first race. Ed Trunken drops from second to 17th in the final lap alone. Everyone back through Eric Breaker ended up finishing the race. Or back through flipped over. Eric Breaker on back did not finish. And Richie Gunzit, the dominant car, you see him finishing 23rd there. Paul Conrev and Herb Kerbler both looked like they had race winning cars too, but just wasn't meant to be for any of them. They all had terrible races. So after the second race of the season, Chase Bentrod is somehow in the points lead. He has just been so consistent over the first two races, finishing 4th and 1st. Harvey Rodcap finished 3rd and 2nd. So better average finish, or same average finish, but uh, Bentrod has a win. Ed Trunken back there in 11th. He could have really used a win here today. Paul Conrev dropped a lot in the points because of that. Richie guns it all the way back in 22nd. And Herb Kerbler has had a miserable season so far, finishing... 20th or worse in both of his races. Jonas Carvers, who has only raced one race, is almost at Kerbler's point total. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Piston Cup Next Gen Series. I'll see you next time.